Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video, and today we'll be opening 20 more mystery minifigure blind bags for LEGO Ninjago. I'm extremely excited to see which minifigures we get this time. If you go on to enjoy this video, please take two seconds to leave a like rating down below, and of course, if you've missed any of my previous mystery minifigure openings for LEGO Minecraft, LEGO Marvel, or LEGO Star Wars, I'll provide links in the description. Now, before we begin, I have a huge announcement to make. I've once again teamed up with the original seller of these minifigure packs to make them available to all of you for a limited time. That's right, you can now buy mystery minifigure packs at mysteryminifigures.com. We have an extremely limited supply, so be sure to act fast if you want some. Click the link in the description to go to mysteryminifigures.com and check out the store. Now, with that exciting announcement, let's open these 20 mystery minifigure packs for LEGO Ninjago, and we also have this golden Ninjago pack to open later in this video, so stay tuned to see which minifigure is inside. Alright, let's open up our very first pack of the video, and see what we have inside. Our first pack is... Looks like we have an original Cole minifigure. This is the very first Cole Ninja minifigure that was ever released by LEGO. It came out in 2011 for the very first release of sets. Very iconic and nostalgic for Ninjago fans. Alright, second pack. Let's see what's inside this one. Second pack has... Whoa, okay. Looks like we have Gultar. Gultar is one of the ghost warriors from the possession season of Lego Ninjago. I absolutely love all the translucent elements on this figure, including the ghost piece on the bottom and his head. He's got some cool armor on as well, and even a ninja mask. He's got a nice hat on the very top. I love the purple, and all the colors look real nice on this guy. Here's our next pack. We'll see what else we can add to our collection for this video. Third pack has... Looks like Forbidden Spinjitzu Nia. This minifigure is from Season 11 of LEGO Ninjago, and I still think these ninja wraps are probably some of my favorites that LEGO has ever created. You can see the shine through there, the translucent coloring at the very top, and this Nia minifigure actually only came in one set back in the day, and so I'd say this is actually one of the more rare Forbidden Spinjitzu Ninja minifigures, so I'm happy we got this one. On to the next pack here. Let's open up this one on the left and see what's inside. The minifigure is... Uh, I believe, I believe this is Bucko. Well, yes, this is indeed Bucko himself. He's from the Sky Pirates. Obviously, that's from Season 6, Skybound of LEGO Ninjago. He's got some cool printing on the back, and I like the different colored legs. He's got one that's brown and one that's orange. Overall, I like the facial hair on this guy as well and his head print, and he's definitely one of the more detailed Sky Pirate minifigures. We're making quick work of these packs. Let's go for this one here in the middle next and see what's inside. All right, next pack. Oh, it's Vanya. Vanya is part of the Royal Shintaro family, obviously from Master of the Mountain. That was the season this minifigure came from. I love the shiny light blue printing there on her torso as well as along the back. She's got pearl gold hair and is definitely a fantastic character to get as she was one of the main characters in Master of the Mountain. Well, I think it's time for, yep, you guessed it, another pack, because we have a lot of these to open. All right, next one here. What's inside? Looks like we have a J minifigure. I think these ninja minifigures with their black robes on are super underrated because these robes are super sick. They got the black with the accents of shiny gold that you can see on there and the dragon on the back. I think these are some slept on minifigures. These are some of my favorites actually, although they're pretty, you know, it's pretty simple, right? But it looks great and the colors all look fantastic together. So great pickup. Here's our next pack. Let's see what's inside. There's a little bit of a hint at what's inside. Lots of white. A Zane, maybe? Yes, a Zane. Specifically, this is Zane DX. It's very easy to tell because he's got a massive dragon all over him. Also on the back, he's got his Zane logo. This minifigure is from 2012, so it's got that original Zane logo on the back with his name, which I thought was always cool for these DX ninja minifigures. These are some of my favorite ninja robes behind the NRG ninja robes. I think those are still my favorite, but these come in a close second for sure. All right, next pack here see what's inside. Inside we have, oh, we got Pink Zane. So that's two Zane minifigures back to back. We had Zane DX and now Avatar Zane from the Gamer's Market set, which was only a $20 set, so this minifigure isn't that hard to get, but I'm glad because 
because this was a minifigure that the Ninjago community wanted for so long, and LEGO finally delivered in the Prime Empire season of Ninjago, which is just awesome. Let's grab this one here on the right next. Whoa, that's a big pack back there. Wow, okay. There's a big piece in that one. We'll get to that one in just a little bit, but let's see what's in this pack first. Looks like a Stone Army Swordsman. You know, at first glance, I thought this was one of the Legacy Stone Army Warriors, but no, this is one of the original ones back from the final battle season of LEGO Ninjago, which is really cool. That These minifigures are from 2013, and I always thought these guys were pretty crazy with their head. The facial print here always reminded me of, like, Darth Maul, but with different colors. I don't know. It, it listed, this could definitely pass as, like, a Star Wars minifigure. All right, here's what I'm thinking now. We're going to do a double pack opening of these two right here. And then after that, we'll see what this big piece is in that pack. So first up, a double pack with these two. All right, we've got both the packs right here. I just cracked them open so I can easily dump them out. And let's see what's inside. Looks like we have a garment. Oh, that's the original Garmadon. Uh, we have standing legs that came out like that. That's, that's pretty crazy. And then we have a Skybound Kai, it looks like. Over on the left here, we have the original Garmadon minifigure with two arms from 2011. This was just like the OG Garmadon minifigure that came out at the very beginning of Ninjago's life. So that's really cool. And then we have Skybound Kai. And I'm really happy to get more Skybound minifigures because Skybound, I actually didn't even get many of the sets uh, from this theme, unfortunately. But I'm really happy to keep on getting some of these minifigures from these packs, though, which is really cool. All right. Let's check out this really big pack. It's got some massive piece in it, you can see right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge piece. All right, I'm curious to see what's in here. All right, what minifigure is it? Oh, oh, it's a snake general, a serpentine. This is the very first serpentine of this video. We got Acidicus. You know, as I was just now building this figure, I just realized that this is by far the most valuable minifigure that we have gotten in this video. Like, this guy only came in the Epic Dragon Battle set, which was like a $120 set back in 2012 or something. And he was exclusive to this that set. That That's crazy. Wow. This guy's got four eyes. You guys know that my channel icon is Spitta, who's also from the same tribe that this Venomari member is. So, very cool. But yeah, we got the General. That's awesome. We'll go back to doing double pack openings in just a little bit. But first, we'll do a single one. Just see what's in here. I'm feeling maybe there's going to be something good to follow up after that Acidicus minifigure. Oh, okay. We have, uh, we got a, we got a Screamer as well as a Possession Season J, it looks like. I almost forgot what these guys were called right then whenever I opened up the pack. I wasn't expecting to see one of these, but basically what they are is they can go on the minifigure like that, you know, and kind of take them over or possess them pretty much, but... Here we have a Possession Season J minifigure with his Deep Stone armor on. I like the black and blue combo. The colors look real nice with each other. All right, let's do another double pack opening because those are just too fun, right? So I'm going to do the one in the middle here and the one on the right. All right, we got the two packs open. Let's dump them out and see what's inside. Uh, looks like we have, we have Dareth. Okay, Dareth. And then is this a Cole? Yeah, we have a Cole minifigure here. These are both very surprising minifigures to get from these packs. I did not expect to get either one of these. We have Dareth here on the left, where Dareth has come in a couple sets, but I'm not exactly sure which one this is from or if they're even different. Uh, you guys can maybe let me know down below or something. I know that there's one from the Polybag from Rebooted, and then he's also come in a couple other sets, but I'm not, I can't think right off the top of my head which one this is from. And then we have this minifigure, which is very interesting because this is from the Ninjago City Garden set. And I'm definitely sure on that. This one is called Urban Cole. And I remember that because I just thought that was an interesting name that Lego gave this minifigure. Obviously, he's just wearing his everyday clothes instead of ninja suit. And he has that guitar there because he loves rock music. All right, let's open up this pack here next. And then we only have those three and then the golden one. So maybe we'll have to do a triple pack opening. I don't know. So we'll do this single one here first, and then we'll decide. Oh, we have another Serpentine. Nice. Serpentine are my favorite minifigures from Ninjago, by the way. This is Ratla, I believe. I believe this might be the original one. Now, I know this guy came in a few sets back in the day in 2012. I know he had a spinner set, which was one of the starter sets with Cole ZX, I believe. He also came in Kai's Blade Cycle set. That, that's the first set that I got this guy in whenever I was collecting those sets back in the day. Which, by the way, Serpentine Season, man, that is the best season of Ninjago whenever you look at the sets, at least, and the minifigures. That was, a, that was an amazing year. 
All right, yep, I think we're going to do it. We're going to do a triple pack opening. I'm going to crack open the tops of each of them so we can dump them out all at the same time and see all the pieces come out. All right, here are our three packs. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. Looks like we have. We have a Snike minifigure. I believe that's Cyrus Borg and then a Skeleton. Here are the three minifigures we just opened up. I think we actually saved some of the best for last because these are some awesome minifigures and this Cyrus Borg is worth quite a bit of money. We'll start with Snike though over here. He's part of the Constricti tribe from the Serpentine season of Ninjago. He only came in the uh, Samurai X mech set, I believe, so he's a pretty rare one. We have Cyrus Borg, who also only came in one set, but from the rebooted season of Ninjago. I love his hairpiece up here. That's an awesome piece. And then we have Chopov, one of the original Skullkin back from 2011, which is amazing. Uh, judging by the hands here, I believe this is from his spinner set back in the day. All right, and now we're down to the very last pack. We've got this golden Lego Ninjago minifigure pack to open up. But before I do, just a reminder to check out my other mystery minifigure opening videos in the description. I've got all the videos listed there with links. And also, if you guys want to pick up any of these for yourselves, you guys can go to mysteryminifigures.com. There's also a link in the description so you guys can check out the store. All right, let's open up this last pack here and see what's inside the golden Ninjago pack. I'm really curious to see what's in here. And we're about to find out. All right, here we go. What's in the pack? We have, well, the head's rolling away, but that looks like the mechanic. This is certainly the mechanic from the Lego Ninjago episodes. If you watch the episodes, you'll know the backstory on this character. He's definitely a villain, and he has some cool printing. I really like this minifigure a lot. He only comes in the Ninjago City Garden set, which is that very large modular building for Lego Ninjago, which is awesome and makes him a very rare minifigure. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a like rating down below, subscribe for more LEGO videos, and check out the rest of my minifigure openings. I'm Spitbricks, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.